I am seeing so many little bugs up along the wall of this. I'm gonna, so I've got this dip net thing, and I can come in here. What's that? Oh, I'm stepping on that. I've got this dip net thing, and I can come in here and I can scoop out. This is a great mosquito catcher, this pool. Man, a lot of bugs and mosquitoes get in here, and ants and all sorts of things. And this thing here is, is what I use to scoop them out with. But sometimes they get right up against the edge, and they're kind of hard to get. So probably what I, what I need to do is uh, like get a wash rag, towel, something, go around the edge and scoop the bugs off of here. But I wanted to do today's version of the video in the pool because I can. I have never owned a pool before in my life. Not, no, never owned a swimming pool before in my life. And I do now, and it's, it's a bit, of, oh. I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> I'm not supposed to touch that. Oops, sorry. Sometimes I forget. Uh, it is it is awesome. Now, this pool will get a deck built over here. I'm going to build a deck over here that's going to go over and attach to that deck over there. But uh, I'm not going to do any of that until I get off of my recovery period. But I can, I believe. And if I can't, they didn't tell me I can't. So I'm going to believe. I'm going to continue to believe that I can come in the pool and swim which I am doing uh, the pool was just put up a couple of days ago and it's just sitting here and it's it's, it's kind of awesome like there's the field and there's my garage and there's my house and there's no neighbors anywhere and uh, it's funny uh, Trish said I could I could take my clothes off and swim naked if I want to she said but I'm not really that kind of person and Two minutes later, Bobby walked around the corner of the house. I said, oh man, you just missed it. We was just about to get naked, you know, which we weren't, but. <laughs> we was joking around with him. He brought us some fresh vegetables. And we had another later, late, uh, set of neighbors. Well, you know Larry, the, the tractor guy who rolled his tractor over and we helped him get it out. His wife picked vegetables out of their garden and they brought us squash and onions and potato salad and and black-eyed peas and cornbread all cooked and all ready to go which was amazing and she said hey you guys are sick we're cooking you food and like <laughs> what a wonderful southern tradition or maybe they do that everywhere but you know somebody gets sick or somebody dies they cook you food and bring it to you it's like uh, i heard somebody calling it the casserole thing you know somebody brings you casseroles and, and a lot of times i'll see tv shows where there's some really tough cop you know and his wife gets killed and he gets mad because all these women keep bringing him casseroles but i tell you what it don't make me mad a bit for anybody to bring me casseroles or any kind of food whatsoever i accept all food donations and happily enjoy them so that's just the kind of guy i am you won't find me getting all moody and grumpy because women are bringing me casseroles. No sure, Bob. I'm going back under. So, what else? Uh, I can say there's a lot to be caught up on. There's a lot of things that I haven't finished and a lot of things you don't know about yet, but we will get to that. I may go find me a rag and just go around the edge of this pool and wash it off. Yes, I may do that. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. Oh, by the way. So, what else is happening here? Oh, I got a little floaty thing over there. Let me go sit in it. Oh, the joy. Oh. I'll just scoop up bugs along the way. Oh, there's all kind of bugs in here. Wee. Wee. See, these little things are colored solar lights. They're going to light up tonight, and we're going to... If we can stay up past 8 o'clock, we... We got a bad habit of going to bed at eight o'clock because we're old. But uh, Honey Baby said, you know, if you get colored lights, we have to stay up and watch them when they turn on. So maybe I can stay up late tonight. We can come out and see what the colored solar lights look like in the pool. Oh, the joy. So we got this little hammock thingy. And I don't know you ants get in here. That's what I want to know. I didn't invite you. You had to climb all the way up to get in this thing and just to drown. I mean, that, that's, that just seems counterproductive to me. Ah, 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 ah. 
Yes, baby, yes, this is good. This is life as it should be in the south. I'm not pushing any snow. I'm not working on the heater. I'm not cutting firewood, not stacking firewood, not rebuilding a carburetor on a Jeep. I kind of missed the Jeep. I was thinking about the other day, would I like to have another Jeep? And I thought, well, I can't afford one. And I don't have a place for one, so I'd have to sell something, I think I would, to get another one in. And I, I thought, well, I could sell the tractor, but I'm more likely to use the tractor than I am the Jeep, because I still got things around here I could do with the tractor, like dragging off trees. And... By the way, you guys are, are riding around on a flotation device. I don't know if you knew that or not, but I hope you feel safe. If you needed me to go get you a life jacket, I could, but you are waterproof. In fact, I thought about putting you in the bottom of the pool and letting you watch from down there, but then I thought, well, nothing down there that they really want to see, I'm guessing. So. This is just me floating in the pool. I guess if I had a waterproof banjo, I could float in the pool and play banjo, but most of my banjos, as I found, when I got in that big flood in New Jersey over by one lonely farmer's house, most of my banjos don't handle getting wet all that well. Yep, that's true. That's true. So on the way back out here, I stopped to pick up my hat and as I was about to get in the pool this frog fell out of it and landed on the ladder bless your little heart Bubby I hope you're okay I'm just gonna go up in the pool so you do whatever you need to do to recover sorry about that I didn't realize you were in my hat <laughs> bless his heart he's bright green I saw a frog the other day now this is a this is a bullfrog but he's green uh, not a bullfrog. That's just a regular toad, I think, but he is a bright color. I saw a frog the other day that was two color, two toned. He had uh, one color on the back of him and a different on the front, and I've never seen a, a two toned frog. You are a cute little rascal. Yes, you are. Well, don't pay me no attention because I ain't going to bother you. I am going to step on the ladder, but just to, just to climb over you. So. You just, as you were there, buddy. I have to remember to keep an eye out for him when I come back because I don't want to accidentally step on a frog. Bless his hide. It won't do not do him any harm. Hey there, Daisy. So I can cut y'all off now. I'm just gonna get my little rag and go around the edge of the pool, do a little cleanup. Hope you have a good day. Say hi to your mom and them. <laughs>